What did the fruit say at the civil rights alley? At the civil rights rally? Think about it. What would the fruit say at the civil rights rally? Avocado dream. <laughs> <laughs> He's genuinely laughing. I got it. <laughs> I hope y'all are laughing as hard as we are right now. Welcome back to the Fit Mean Cook Kitchen. If you can tell from today's dad jokes, the ingredient we'll be cooking with today is the avocado. So for today's cookie recipe, we are gonna be busting out the air fryer and making some delicious avocado chicken egg rolls. Mm! If you've never had these before, they are going to change your life and really just kind of point your diet in a brand new direction in terms of not being boring. What I love about this is you get a pop of protein with the added chicken, but this is such an easy recipe that you can customize, but it's also pretty minimal. Just with about five simple ingredients, you can make this and be in and out of the kitchen in less than 30 minutes. It's just that simple. Maybe 40 minutes if, it, if you're folding and making the egg rolls a little bit slow, but it's a very simple recipe. It is fail proof and it's a great one too to get your kids involved with their diets. All right, so if you are ready to roll up your sleeve, get those hands dirty, then let's get started. All right, if you're gonna go the meat eaters route, then what you're gonna do is keep it really simple. We're gonna use some rotisserie chicken. So what we're gonna do is take off the skin right here and then pull off the good meat and we're looking for all the white meat, so pull off the breast. Then, I'm just gonna chop it up into pieces. If you're going the vegan route, then I suggest using some drained black beans. You could even use garbanzo, but I think black beans a little bit better. Next, we're gonna slice open an avocado, remove the pit, and add the avocados to a bowl. I'll start out with two avocados, and if I need more, I'll just add another one. I like to mash this up first before Adding in the other ingredients, it just makes it much easier to mix together. All right, now let's make the filling. We're gonna add the chicken, a little bit of cumin, some red onion, some cilantro, a pinch of sea salt, and some pepper. Squeeze in some fresh lime. And grab a fork and mix and mash everything together. And this is where you'll find out if you need to add in another avocado or not, but I think this is perfect right now. Look at that. All right, now let's make some avocado chicken egg rolls. So you're gonna grab your egg roll wrapper, and what we're gonna do is just add a generous amount right here to the corner of it. And we're gonna add a little bit of egg wash, and just go around the edges right here, and just roll it up, just like this, and then place them in your air fryer basket. And then repeat this for the remaining egg roll. Now make sure there's ample space between all the egg rolls and then you could use some of the leftover egg wash just to lightly brush them on the outside. It'll help them crisp up a little bit more. And you can do the top and the bottom, it's up to you. I like to do one final quick spray with some high smoke point oil. So we're going to air fry this right now for about 10 to 12 minutes at 420. Okay, now while those are in the air fryer, I thought maybe we should make a nice dipping sauce. And so what goes with guacamole? Salsa. So I thought I'd show you how to make a really quick roasted salsa. So we've got some vine tomatoes, we've got some red onions, and we've got a serrano pepper. Let's do a quick spray of some avocado oil. Again, a high smoke point. We want the outside to get nice and blistery. So we're gonna add in some sea salt and some pepper. Now we're gonna roast this in the oven for about 10, 15 minutes at 420. So once they've been roasted, what we're gonna do is just add in the tomatoes, not the vine. And I like to add the skin in there as well. Red onions, and then our serrano pepper. I'm just gonna pour the rest of that. Natural juices in there. Mm. Make it really good. Serrano pepper, without the stem. Some garlic cloves. And add some fresh cilantro, and I like to add the stem in there because the stem actually is where a lot of the flavor is. Squeeze in some lime. Add a touch of sea salt and some pepper. Pop the top, and blend it up. I like to do a pulse blend. Doesn't take much. And the cool thing about this salsa is that it's really good hot or cold. I like my salsa just this texture. Look at, you can see the different colors, you can see the different ingredients. But most importantly, find out what that taste is like. Mm. perfect. 
add a little bit more salt, pepper, some lime, whatever it is, you customize it to your liking. Pour the salsa into our little container, followed by fresh out of the oven, our delicious egg rolls, a little cilantro sprinkle, as always, <laughs> and as needed if you need just a little bit more salt. A little salt bay action to make it sexy. Look at this beautiful, crispy on the outside. And I wanna show you something too. This is what happens whenever you um, make these with your eyes and with your appetite, meaning I just overstuff them. And so you gotta be careful not to put too much because they'll burst. Bursting with joy because there's just so much goodness in them. I mean, I can't contain myself, but just an FYI, don't, don't be like me and eat with your eyes first. You gotta cook with a little bit more like sensibility. So maybe just a tablespoon and a half or two tablespoons at the max. Don't pile it in there like I did. But you know what, the most important thing is this right here. Watch this, watch. So you get the coolness from the salsa. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> this is literally the best thing ever. Look at the smokes are coming off of the steam. Ooh. I guarantee you will not want to share this whenever you make these. All right guys, that is it for today's video. I know that you're going to love this recipe. You're actually going to enjoy making it as well. It's a very therapeutic and easy recipe to do as you just kind of make food and watch TV or do something else. It's a great way just to, just to zone out for a second. So overall, this is a banging recipe. If you like videos like this, and I invite you to smash that like button below, and I also invite you to comment below how you would customize this recipe for your diet and for your household. We want your ideas so that we can keep on enjoying food that is flavorful and never ever boring. All right guys, until next time, thank y'all so much for watching. Keep it healthy, but of course, what? Never ever boring. Ooh, bye y'all.